right, good weekend and good morning, peoples. Um, this is my declaration prediction for all the single stock funds. So I'm going to scroll through these and I updated a few stats. Let me know if there's something else you want to see or see it differently. Um, so what I did on each of these funds is I started out kind of going in um, low to high, but then I just broke it up and and did a few different ones, especially when I got into the inverse ones. So again, I changed some of the stats rather than put all these columns and that. I can think of one that I might want to do like how much did it increase from the previous month? But I don't want to put every single month what did it increase from the other. Um, but anyway, let's jump in here. So I got Zomo, Exxon Mobil, big oil company. So here's their payout. So what I do on these is I literally show every month they paid, right? So they started in October. And then I show their low their high, their average, and their median. If you don't know what median is, you can look it up, but it's a number that half of the items are below and half are above. So mathematically, sometimes it's very close to the average in this case, but it's 10 cents skewed from the average. Um, and then most important, I think of all, I'll show you in a second. So here's the prediction, obviously August of 2024. So some of these, I actually show the numbers in a different color for the background, um, which that's not good when the number is white. Why don't I make these numbers black? Uh, and then you, you can, but the main thing is you want to see this number. So 27 cents, that's an 18.76 yield. And I used Friday's closing price, right? So this ends up being an eight, uh, two number. And then over here, I think this is the most important of all. So rather than try and annualize it exactly over a 12 month basis, I just said, what's the total distributions it's collected? Well, it's $3 and five cents, okay? So I make the assumption on every one that $20 is a starting price. The only one I didn't is Tesla because Tesla had a reverse split. So I made it $40. So other than that, everything else is just going off the 20. Whether you bought it at a different price, that's fine, right? Uh, let me know, I'll plug your number in. But the truth is you may not have collected all of these dividends, right? So just trying to show you how the fund is done. So 27 cents on, on Zomo, and it has a positive total return but not that much. For those of you that chase yield, you probably wouldn't chase the yield, but realizing on an income fund, yeah, it, it's it's collected $3.05, but you've also lost $2.73. Again, if you bought it just recently lower, then you have to track your own, right? So that percentage against $20 to 273 is a loss of 1385. This 305 is 1527. So it's easy to calculate the total return is 32 cents or 1.62. <clears throat> so if you held it for three, six, nine, 10, 11 months, you haven't done particularly well, but you haven't lost any money, right? But people always focus on that yield. To me, now you had use of that money. What did you do with that 305 if you dripped? That's a different calculation. Let me know if you want me to show that number in here, and I can. So then here's JPMO. So JP Morgan, the big banking. Um, I'm predicting they're going to pay 28.5. And that's an 1851% yield. 
Now they have a better total return. Their total return is 10.56. They've yielded 18.16, okay? So Zomo had yielded 15.27. Now, if you own this underlining, I forget what they pay, but I want to say X on mobile pays 3 or 4%. It may only be 2 but they do pay a dividend, but you're not getting any dividend here from them because uh, Yomex doesn't own the underlying. They only create options, right? They're synthetics in their weekly. Okay, so I'll try not to spend too much. So, and on JP Morgan, you haven't lost as much money. You've only lost $1.52. So at 7%, so hence you've got a 10% return over three, six. This will be your 10th month. All right, so let's look at ARC, ORC, Kathy Wood's ARC Innovation. So that's a long one because it's been around as long as any fund. I think it and Tesla are the longest. Um, so what is the the amount of payments have total nine dollars and sixty eight cents, but you've lost ten oh two in nav. So if you bought it for twenty dollars, you're not happy. You're in the hole. One point seven two, right? Now you had the you you know, some people say, Well, Bruce, I had the use of the money. That's true. Did you put it in a treasury? Did you put it in another stock? And if you dripped it, I get it. You know, I can put a drip calculation in. Um but again, how much, I don't know how much you dripped, right? Because that's going to tell me how many shares based on the money you dripped. Okay. So we got a negative there. How about Apple? Another long-term one uh, since June. Well, actually, something is wrong here. Let me check. I may have a June payment. Yeah, there is a June payment. 0.288. So let's make sure we're calculating. Yep, I saw everything jump up on that. Let's see. So that's G for these guys. That's not going to change much here. may not change anything if you don't trigger 3939. I just happened to catch that. Nope. Okay. So you got it on Apple, on Apple. Uh, that's decent, right? I was saying 31 cents, by the way, guys. Sorry, I'm fixing that. 31 cents is my prediction. And it's a 20.5% yield. And, you know, you can always look at these numbers and compare them against the median, the average, the low, the high, right? And probably the easiest thing for me to do is just put a number here. Like in this case, it'd be 1.3. So that's like two something percent, 2.5 or 2.7 percent downturn. Okay, guys. So let's let's keep this thing moving. I know you guys want to roll through it. Um, so 19.39, not bad. But again, now that one is a year and three months, right? You'll have, when you get July or when you get August, you'll be paid 15 payments. Um, all right. Microsoft, MSFO. So Microsoft has a nice yield here, right? We're looking at that. Their first payment was in October. So what are they going to pay, you're asking? 44 cents, 26.51. So that's up from July, a little bit less than June, below their average and their median, okay? And you can see the low and high. And overall, that's pretty good. Microsoft has only dropped eight cents, 1992. Let me check. 
MSFO. Yeah, 1992. Okay, good job, Microsoft, for staying close to your nav. Excellent. All right, let's move on through. Disso for Disney. I'm predicting 45 cents, 33.41. Their average, their median is 45. Look at that. Half have been below and half have been above. The average is 51. 26 to 77 is the range. And its nav is down, right? 16.165. Now understand... We had a big red day. Everybody was down, so everybody gets beat up with this. Not only that, but, you know, come Tuesday, or sorry, come Thursday when you're paid, um, it's going to drop the, the payment amount, right? So anyway, let's move on through these. 929 for total return. So, so far, the best guy has been Microsoft. By far. Okay, let's keep going. So here's GUI for Google. This hasn't been a good fun for Yale Max. Curve had much better results, I remember, on this one. So let's see what this month. I've got 46.50 based on my analysis. So it's a 34.16. And look at that. It's higher than the average, higher than the median. Slight 18 of one penny, right? So four, six, eight, four, six, five. So 18 hundredths of a cent lower. So it's had a range of 22 to 68. So 6.43, it hasn't done all that well. Why? Because look at the NAB, 1637, 1633. Netflix, which the NAV is down, but it's been hit hard lately. 35% yield, I'm saying 47.50. Now that is, look at these. the previous payment. It's up, but the previous payment was terrible. And, and look at the average in the median. So again, why is Netflix down? Recession kind of numbers. You'd think something that inexpensive wouldn't, but, you know, it, it is. It is what it is, as they say, right? So 22% yield. Now, this will be a year. This is their 12 payment. So you can call this an annualized gain. Not bad. I don't know if it can sustain that going forward. We, we shall see. All right. So the next one I have is AIYY, the AI fund. Okay. So I've got 50 cents which is almost a 60% yield. Look at that stock NAV price. I think that's second only to ORC. ORC was 998. So I wouldn't imagine, look at this. There's not a gain, folks, no wonder. Whew. They've paid 572, including of my prediction for 50 cents, but boy, that's been beat up, a negative 20% return. All right. PP. Pepe. PP. <laughs> Gotta love it. Either, either way, it's like I call it crash. People call it crush. I laugh when I hear PP, but that's exactly what I thought when I first saw it. I try to be nice and say pay, pay, but all right. So I've got 47 and a half cents. And look at that. That's, be, that's higher than last month, but it is lower than the median and the average. And that fund has a 15% yield and hasn't made it to the year mark. All right, let's keep going. Mernie. Mernie had a bad month. I still think it's going to pay. It's going to pay less. But look at this price. It's, oh, Moderna. 49.22 yield. Let's see if they pay 47. This one was hard to really figure, to be honest. 
You know, I'll, I'll make a statement because I really should have. This is a guesstimate, right? None of us know. I, I think I'm closer on the six funds that I cover every day, but honestly, some of them really are a guess, even ones that I do every day on the fund. They're a guess because we may be losing money, but I know they're going to pay some money. Maybe there's carryover or they want to keep their reputation up. You know, that only works for so long. So anyway, this one's close. Look at that, 0 0.44. All right, guys, I hope you appreciate the effort here because I, I really decided to redo this to, than just showing these columns all out to the right. I think it's it's much better, but give me your feedback. AMD Advanced Micro Devices. I love this company. I, I don't own any of it, but I probably would if I if I knew about these funds, you know, last year. Uh, I, I like AMD. Um, I like Amazon. There's a fair amount of them. Uh, I haven't bought any Snowflake, but I like Snowy. I like Snowflake. Um, all right, AMD. 4750. Look at this average in the median, though. This thing's paid a lot of money. It's paid between the low is 44 cents. So I'm not that far off the low. I got a high of 167. Maybe they'll surprise me. 16%. Uh, they've got a good, um, you know, return. They've been paying since November. So that's going to be their 10th payment coming up. All right, GDXY. Now, here's something I cover and know a lot about, but that doesn't mean I, I know what they're going to pay. You know, the fund manager's done a horrible job this month, honestly, because they're not taking into consideration the sector and, and goals, you know, all-time high and everything else. So these miners are coming up on earnings, and, and, you know, the market's beating them down. I mean, the GDX was... 38 something right at the open tomorrow. I sold some of my Newmont calls right away, which is part of GDX, uh, which, you know, I'm 6X up on those that I've had for two, two and a half months. I've sold some along the way at three and at four and at five. And I sold my last batch at 6X. Um, and it's still got the September. It's probably going to go a lot higher, but, you know, with options, it's, it's also going to have a, you know, time decay. So uh, I'm still bullish on GDX. All right, let's get to my prediction. I'm saying 68 cents. We earned this over five or six weeks because it was a new fund and we had longer and it was very boring. It just plotted along and every week we won our weekly. Well, we really started to move and the fund managers were writing it the same way and we were getting capped every time. So it's kind of frustrating. And uh, they got lucky yesterday that the market came back and even crushed the gold. You know, at the end of the day, gold miners are stocks. So when the market just bleeds red that bad, it took that 38 on GDX and shoved it down to 36.48. Uh, we were down slightly on the day. But you know what? I told people this will be a good fun. And it will be. I'm talking year two, three, four, or five. It's something you can put your money in. It's a commodity sector. It's based on metals. And a lot of these are industrial metals besides gold is just a, you know, monetized metal. It's, it's a monetary alternative, right? Like Bitcoin, a store of wealth. Um, and I see this thing doing very well. So here we are. I've got 68, I don't know. You know, it hasn't earned completely that, but it's got carryover. It's got 70 or 80 cents of carryover. I forget what it's earned, but, you know, maybe 20 cents or something. So I'm going with that. Um, it's showing barely a return, right? Because anytime you're under your NAV, um, it's been a lot lower, though. The NAV is coming back. All right, let's get through these. Facebook Meta. All right, I've got 74 cents for a 47.92 yield right in its average. Look at the median and the average. But, boy, it's had some low ones. 39, excellent, Meta. 
that's that's the winner so far here by far i should do a summary but i know you guys just all right let's get to amazon i know people and i do this one okay I've got 74. They paid 76.5 last month. This could be as high as 79. It could be as low as 70. But I think it'll be 70 to 79. And I went with 74. So look at it. It's above the average and above the median. Their high has been 97. 46% yield. This is a good fund, right? Not quite as good as, as Facebook Meta. All right, Airbnb, this is their first payment, guys. Where is Amazon? Oh, and Amazon, like everybody, got hurt on this. They were over $20. So they got shoved back down. So that dragged, they were at 39%. You know, so they're 4% behind, 85 cents off their nap. So Airbnb, all right, guys. What's Airbnb going to pay? Well, I'm saying 75 cents for almost a 50% yield. They're 18,118, so they're going in the wrong direction. That's why they don't show a positive. All right, Tesla, I'm very bullish on Tesla. Over median term, the next year, the next four years. Very bullish. Um, and what do we have? We have... 72.65, I'm saying 87 cent. Now they could pay a dollar. The fund has earned $2, $2.20, but it's got a big loss, paper loss, not realized yet, but it's there on their synthetics or 260. You talk about volatility, this thing's been 250, ran up to 257 from the low twos. And it subsequently pulled back to 215 on an earnings disappoint. And then it was up to 234, which I call the gap that it would go up and fill that gap. And now it's back at 204. It got crushed again yesterday. So it's got a big loss out there. Otherwise, this thing could have been paying a buck 40 or something. So I've got 87. You know, they could pay anything on here from 70 to a dollar. They paid a dollar last month. Okay, guys, let's keep it going. What's Oh, and on the yield, because of that reverse split, you know, the timing of when they launched and it went from, you know, 230 down to 100 and then roared back up and they were capped on the way. So they've really been at the mercy of Tesla. But I think just overall movement of the stock and the technology is what's gonna gonna work for Elon Musk and Tesla's why it's so bullish. So I don't mind buying I just buy more when it goes down. Okay. So they're minus three eight over, you know, a long period of time. They they them and and Orc um are the two oldest funds that started. All right, let's look at crush. What is crush? Crush is the inverse, right? Well, with Tesla's volatility, I'm seeing crush earning some money. Now, crush's price is not that great because, you know, again, any of these inverse funds, any of these funds, if you go up 30 or 40 percent or down rapidly, you cap, right, in Tesla's case, or in Crush's case, if they drop a huge amount because Tesla went flying up, then they're also going to get capped. They get capped on the down, Tesla gets capped on the up. So I've got them paying 87 cents. I think it's the same as Tesla. I didn't even think about that, but it is. All right, what else? Fiat. That's another inverse of coin. Now look at them. They're 2110 because as you well know, coin has been beat up. Our buddy Coney. So I'm showing them at 82 cents, a 46 cent yield. Or I'm sorry, 40, a 47 percent yield, 82 cents. And they are positive because this is their first payment. Way to go, Fiat. Kind of hoping because I don't own any and I own, a, well, I shouldn't say own a lot. I do own a lot of Coney, but it's uh, my second position along with Tesla in terms of 
how much I have in it. By far, Misty is my number one. All right, so Squee, better known as Block, used to be Square. How are they doing? I've got them at 86 cents. 57, almost 58% yield. What's their, look at this, right within the range of their average and their median. What's their overall? I think they've done pretty well. Yeah, 3689, peoples. Nice. Snowflake. I was kind of expecting it. I look, it has dropped massively in the last week or so. It was doing really well. I think it had been up to 23, maybe 24, close to 24. And look at it, back at 18. I've got them paying 91 cents on their inaugural payday. They were earning a lot. Now, they've got a month and a half, a full month and a half, and they were killing it in the first two, three weeks of their existence. I really like snowflakes. I like what they do, the sector they're in. All right, so total return is a minus, though. All right, let's get into some of the bigger ones. Although, Ybit is not. Look at that nav, right? The problem with Ybit, and I own some very close to selling out completely and either buying Bitto or putting it in something else. Uh, because a derivative on a derivative is not ver working very well. It just... I, I say it like it is. It took me a while. Now, will this thing still get to a positive and get over 20? Yeah, if Bitcoin's going to do what it's going to do, then it'll, it'll pull it up. But I can do so much better in other places and will do it. I mean, just own, owning Bitto tracks closer to BTC and pays the same kind of dividend. So I've got them paying 104. We went from 137 to 121, their third payment now, 81% yield. Now they've got money. They've got liability on their synthetics, but they've got, you know, three or four dollars worth of cash. So if they want to pay 120 or 115, they will. Again, it's just a guesstimate, right? Nobody knows exactly what they're going to pay. And look at they got a 5% when you collect all this money. But again, right after you pay, you know, you or I should say even, you know, ex-dividend. Once they declare on Tuesday, then next Wednesday, we're going to drop that. All right, we're getting into the bigger guys now. Coney and Coinbase, one of my bigger holdings. I've got them paying 107, peoples, 75% yield. They didn't earn it, but I got them paying that. My my estimation would be one dollar to one twenty eight. I I think they absolutely will pay between one dollar and one twenty eight. And so I'm going with one oh seven. It's not the middle, it's just what I'm going with. They didn't earn it, but I think that's what they get paid. They've got an eighty-three percent total return, people. Just fabulous, just fabulous. Beats everything by far, so far in reporting. So they will hit their 11th month, this payment. So they will have returned 100%. Right now, if they pay 107, they'll have returned 1959. So you guys out there that say ROI, I get it on these, right? So they'll have given you all your money back. Not everybody has bought it at that. But hey, if you like it and you like BTC, the underlying, go out and buy it at $17. It is at its all-time low, its low close price. It's never closed this low. Okay, guys. Got two more. You probably can guess. One of them's NVIDIA. And NVIDIA's been the GOAT, right? It hadn't been the GOAT much lately. But NVIDIA's an interesting story. I said to a lot of people, there's just too much FOMO in AI. I think AI is going to be around for a long time. It's going to do a lot of great things. I think the AI, AI stock of the world is going to end up being Tesla. Okay, that's what I think. 
not NVIDIA. NVIDIA is a hardware company, okay? Yeah, they got some software, but they're an AI hardware company, and they're going to do really well. They're not going anywhere, but people are going to catch up to them. People are going to squeeze their margins in the next few years. All right, so NVIDIA, what are they going to pay? You guys maybe saw it. 159 this is a hard one too. I don't do the dailies on it, but I just look, you know, there's times that, you know, there was this day where they were up 13% and so was NVIDIA. Why? Normally you can't do that, right? Well, what had happened is the fund managers had written some calls, you know, the previous week and they were high and the stock was dropping. And then all of a sudden it rebounded massively. So they had the ability to run quite a ways up without getting capped. That's rare. So, but they've also been capped. It's also dropped, severely dropped. I mean, the stock price is, you know, what, 104? I didn't even look at Friday. Did it get to 100? And, and, you know, it had been 160 or at least 146, something like that after the split. All right, so how's NVIDIA done overall? Excellent. Now, in some fairness, it's been in existence longer than other funds, okay? So you always have, because I don't annualize this number. I just say, how much have they collected since they've been collecting? And I compare it to the $20. So when you take Coney, they've collected 1959 if what I say they're going to pay is what they pay. That's in 11 months. Okay, so NVIDIA has 14 months, right? They started here, so they've made the loop. And so they have 14 or 15 even. Um, And nothing wrong. I mean, NVIDIA has been fabulous, but that's why you see a higher number there. And then when I show you Misty on the next one, it's not going to be that high because it's only collected for four months. So their total return, if you bought it at $20, right? You've collected $20.25, if I'm accurate. It's going to be pretty close. It's going to be 20 cents either way, I'm sure. And that's brilliant, right? And it didn't used to pay that much. Look at 70, 90, 81, 92, 67, 42, 51, 62. And then it really started paying, right? It's been in the twos. So it, it could be $1.99. It could be $1.95. Totally a guess on my part. All right, let's wrap it up. Let's wrap it up with the dividend goat. The dividend goat. Now, Misty hasn't done that well this month, I got to tell you. She, Ms. Misty, has only earned 10 cents. So... This one is, will they hit for the cycle? They had a home run, a four-bagger. They had a three-bagger. They've had two two two-baggers. So are they going to hit for a single and only pay a dollar? Maybe they pay $1.99. Maybe they pay $1.01. I mean, they haven't earned a lot. But I don't think they want the dividend queen, I better call her because I call her Ms. Misty, they better give the dividend queen two bucks. So I went with 201 because honestly, I thought it was a dollar last month and they paid 233 too. Maybe they won't continue that. So your guess is as good as mine, people's. I don't, you know, I cover Misty. That's why I'm telling you what they earn. And so look at Misty and simply... One, two, three, four, five payments, okay? They will have a 70% yield return and total return of 104%. So can you imagine if they get back on track and BTC and MSTR? MSTR is a split coming up this Thursday on the 8th on the payday. That's the effective of the split. I will have been buying some MSTR now, 
knowing that I'm going to get 10 times the amount of shares so I can start writing some of my own options here. All right, guys. So that's what I got for you. I hope you enjoyed this. Let me know if you like the format. You didn't. I know somebody's going to say, Bruce, can you just show it all to me? Look, we work hard on these videos. If we give you, if, if you watch the video for 30 seconds and see all the prices and go, we really make nothing for our efforts on that. So just bear with us a little bit. Uh, you can always speed it up along the way. Okay, guys, that's what I got for you. Again, not financial advice. I'm not a financial advisor. Have a great weekend. Bye for now, peoples.